Hello, everybody. I am Lewis Turner, staff meteorologist here at First Coast News on your side. And uh, we are looking at Tropical Storm Helene as of the 8 o'clock announcement. Still a tropical storm in a very lopsided uh, situation that we've got going here. Now, if you were just to look at this system, you would assume uh, it just naked eye. You, you, you open up a textbook of tropical systems and say, oh, the, the center must be here. In fact, the center is not over the upstate of South Carolina. The center is here where you see a little bit of clearing. So an extraordinarily lopsided storm and a, a just just wobbly at this point. Now, a lot of impacts happening over at South Carolina right now uh, and still getting 60 mile an hour winds within uh, this system here. But just to show you, we have had a, we, a, what was once an extraordinarily powerful, very symmetrical, organized textbook looking hurricane has now uh, started dying over uh, North Georgia. And again, still a tropical storm, but that won't last too much longer. And uh, it's forward motion still at 30 miles an hour at going north. So it is really moving out and uh, going to dump, uh, dump a lot of rain over the upstate of South Carolina, over North Georgia, the mountains of uh, Georgia, the Appalachian Trail and the eastern uh, or excuse me, uh, uh, western mountains of uh, North Carolina and the eastern Tennessee. So a lot of rain going to fall there and uh, your current what is left of what the Hurricane Center has given advisories on. Don't they don't anticipate this lasting too much longer until it just kind of stops as a bunch of conglomeration of rain uh, through the Ohio River Valley and uh, leaving a mess of potential for flooding there. Uh, so uh, current condition getting so much better as you can see the cloud cover. This is your satellite imagery. See that storm moving up and into Georgia and leaving us with uh, some clearing skies and, and the winds relaxing as well. So let's talk about what we saw from this storm. So our peak wind gusts happening really overnight Thursday night into Friday with which caused all the uh, real uh, power outages around our area, big winds. So for Mayport actually measured a 80 mile an hour wind gust, 80 mile an hour wind gust for Mayport, massive winds. Jekyll Island, 78 mile an hour winds. OK, and that's just that's still so far out from the center of this storm. 75 mile an hour winds for Neptune Beach, uh, Jacksonville International Airport, 72. We had a 71 at NAS Jack, some peak winds. Now Waycross registering a 71. I, I am curious because uh, their wind readings stopped coming online while the strongest of this was going through. So I, I think they had even stronger winds, perhaps even a spin up of a tornado. And I, and I say that because of the damage that we've already seen in Waycross and just how close the eye, the center of this, while still a hurricane was as it made its way through Ware and, and Pierce County, where uh, the storm ha has now been proven to be deadly. Uh, someone dying in Pierce County because of debris coming down onto a vehicle. Lake City had a 69 mile an hour wind gust, but they also had tornado warnings in Lake City that caused a great deal of damage there right downtown. Now, by the time we're watching this here, uh, our, our tides are going out. I want to show this to more or less ease fears. We, we know we had a high river, had a lot of water. I mean, the last couple of weeks we've had so much water just from regular rain, uh, irregular, but regular daily rain, but an amazing amount of rain. So our rivers have been high, but with the tides going out, that uh, will be a much better result. So a look at the bigger picture with the radar specifically, and that shows uh, just how much this uh, storm has lost all of its organization. Now tornado watches for North Carolina and uh, the Grand Strand of South Carolina up I-95, that corridor there. And for us, we are without tornado watches anymore. The tornado risk has fallen apart. So it, here's what I mean. You look how organized this was as uh, landfall occurred. Nice symmetrical eye wall, but as it hits land, just again crumbles with the dry air that gets infused into it. And you can see just a ragged area with some showers extending from Chattanooga and, and down through Atlanta. Looking for uh, the first coast now as we get toward the end of the loop, you can see we are really drying out. We don't have uh, any more of those rain bands uh, moving through. A couple of stray isolated bits of rain certainly possible. And what I said earlier about the Iowa watch, this is still a hurricane here moving right by the, I think I uh, measured out about 15 miles from the center of Waycross. And I also mentioned not getting many readings from Waycross that offline and Waycross offline Valdosta, which makes sense, uh, probably had some equipment issues and malfunction considering the winds blowing over that equipment. So Valdosta and Waycross hit very hard. Lake City, though uh, the winds dying down there. Now that we're starting to see winds up and under 
the 20 mile an hour mark. We're doing much, much better gusts over the last little while. 32 Jacksonville, 31 Mayport, and those are relaxing as well. So we're getting outside again. If you have to do a little cleanup in the yard, we are in the upper 80s today. Currently uh, through our mid morning and, and lunchtime, we'll be in the low 80s. But afternoon high is going to be around 88 degrees. So back to that, back to a little bit of sunshine out there as well for any recovery cleanup that you've got to do in your yards if you're getting things going. And to show our future cast, our computer modeling for the potential for rain through our afternoon into Friday, doing pretty good. A lot of showers stay down towards our south. Maybe overnight and early morning Saturday, we get just a lingering tail from uh, the tropics pulling through uh, behind what was once Helene, then now kind of being absorbed into an area of low pressure. Could see a few showers uh, there, uh, widely scattered showers on Saturday, but overall a pretty decent weekend. And why not? Because why not? I mean, kids are out of school for the day. Uh, if you are going to the pool, if the pools are open, I mean, if you got it in the backyard, good on you. Just 10% of seeing a chance of seeing a shower. And as I mentioned, 88 degrees. So a nice little day. Spend a little time, quality time with family and in between picking up the tree limbs out of the yard. 88 degrees as mentioned as your afternoon high. And notice our weather icons, no real chance of rain listed in there. So I leave you with this uh, picture right now. The tropics, while we are not out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination. Still got a long way to go within this uh, hurricane season. Uh, we uh, do have things brewing out in the tropics. I do just want to take the hurricane season one bite at a time. We just had a big old bite, a mouthful, and uh, we're going to relax through this weekend where uh, we see plenty of uh, sun and uh, nice conditions. So you guys have a good one. We'll continue to update as necessary.